Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Lawrence Drake, Interim President of Albany State University. This important message is for all those near and dear to ASU, including our students, parents, faculty, staff, and alumni, and particularly all those supporters throughout the community, state, and the nation. We are deeply saddened that such a celebratory event, such as ASU's Homecoming 2024, had to be tragically interrupted by events that took place late in the evening of October the 19th. Our hearts go out to the victims, family, and all those directly affected by these senseless acts of violence. As the interim president of ASU, we take all matters that impact the safety and well being of our students and our campuses very seriously. I want to reassure all of our students, parents, faculty, and staff that we are taking every necessary step to ensure the safety of our campus, whether you're located on the East Campus, West Campus, or in Cordell. Now, the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, who is leading this effort to investigate this incident, and other state and local law enforcement agencies are all actively involved in this ongoing investigation. In addition, our very own Albany State University Police Department is working around the clock to protect those under its charge. It's important to note that we are all part of community policing, and with that in mind, ASU Police Chief Anita Allen and her dedicated staff of officers are asking for your continued support to keep us all safe. And this can be done in two important ways. One is by practicing, if you see something, say something. And for our students in particular, the way you can be part of this, of course, is to download the Live Safe app on your mobile devices immediately. Now I, along with Chief Allen, urge everyone to be vigilant and report any form of suspicious activity. We are all aware of many of the things that you're seeing and being exposed to out there, including the social media posts related to this incident. Be assured that numerous law enforcement agencies are monitoring all social media posts, and particularly those associated with this incident. We have been assured and are assured in this moment that there is no direct threat to Albany State University as it relates to our students, faculty, or staff at this time. I want to repeat this. Let me just say that at this moment, at this time, there is no direct threat to Albany State University, either to its students, faculty, or staff. Now, of course, if anything arises that poses a potential threat to the safety of any of our campuses, we are prepared to employ all necessary measures and steps to ensure the safety and well being of everyone. Lastly, I understand this is a very stressful and challenging time for all of us, and we are working toward returning to some degree of normal. But I want to send a special message to our students, and I'm asking you, all of you, to continue to attend classes and engage in campus activities. But if you find yourself overwhelmed or anxious, please take advantage of the numerous well-being and wellness and crisis resources that are available to all of you. A full list can be found on our website. Again, if you see something, say something. Download the Live Safe app and or contact the ASUPD at 229-430-4711. Albany State University remains a remarkable institution within the state of Georgia, and this nation, by the way. Now, some may use this event as a sole identifier of ASU. However, instead, we at ASU intend to use this event to showcase our resiliency and commitment to ensuring a better and stronger Albany and a stronger society and nation. Thank you.